ID 09 Pyro 79. Class, confidential. Date, 15th of January, 2009. Police brutality in Egypt against common criminals is routine and pervasive. Contacts describe the police using force to extract confessions from criminals, but also against demonstrators, certain political prisoners and innocent bystanders, as a daily event. Brutality against Islamist detainees has reportedly decreased overall, but security forces still resort to torturing Muslim Brotherhood activists who are deemed to pose a political threat. Over the past five years, the government has stopped denying that torture exists, and since late 2007 courts have sentenced approximately 15 police officers to prison terms for torture and killings. Independent Ngos have criticized Bolet efforts to provide human rights training for the police as ineffective and lacking political will. The GO has not yet made a serious effort to transform the police from an instrument of regime power into a public service institution. We want to continue a funded police training program, and to look for other ways to help the GO address police brutality. One human rights lawyer told us there is evidence of torture in Egypt dating back to the pharaohs. Go contacts estimate there are literally hundreds of torture incidents every day in Cairo police stations alone. It ranges from accidental police shootings to reports of police officers shooting civilians following disputes over parking tickets. In November 2008 alone there were two incidents of off-duty police officers shooting civilians over petty disputes. Contacts from across the political spectrum report witnessing police brutality as a part of daily life. Electroshocking is widely used also, but in 2008 they beat and drowned a fisherman and in November 2008 they hooked a man on a car and dragged him to his death. The people responsible got light sentences. One even told about how the police beat a female suspect into confessing about others involved in the theft. Another contact told us that friends do not report thefts from their apartments, because they do not want to subject all the doormen in the vicinity to police beatings. It has even made TV with one popular soap opera which featured a police detective hero who beats up suspects to collect evidence. Even lawyers get beat up while entering a police station to defend clients. ID 09 Cairo 544. Class, Confidential. Date, 30th of March, 2009. Summary, 1. Egypt's bloggers are playing an increasingly important role in broadening the scope of acceptable political and social discourse and self-expression. 2. Bloggers' discussions of sensitive issues, such as sexual harassment, sectarian tension and the military, represent a significant change from five years ago, and have influenced society and the media. 3. The role of bloggers, as a cohesive activist movement has largely disappeared, due to a more restrictive political climate, go countermeasures, and tensions among bloggers. For, however, individual bloggers have continued to work to expose problems such as police brutality and corporate malfeasance. The government generally allows bloggers wide latitude in posting material critical of the go. Exceptions to this policy are bloggers who directly insult President Mubarak or Islam, and the government has arrested and jailed bloggers who have crossed these red lines. The go has also arrested activists, such as, and, who have used blogging to organize and support protests. Activists are increasingly writing blogs to advance their political aims. Contacts accurately point out that bloggers have ceased to function as a cohesive activist movement. It is noteworthy that bloggers did not play a significant role in the most recent example of mass cyberactivism m the April 6, 2008 strike orchestrated through Fasadhood. incredibly significant because these are the largest mass rallies that have happened um, in Egypt over the course of Mubarak's 30-year uh, rule. Um, this is definitely the largest, the biggest political challenge that the regime has yet to see from the streets.